In this video, we're going to take a look at the rib command inside of Autodesk Inventor's part modeling environment. Now, the rib command is a great tool to help us create some interior supporting geometry to strengthen our models, especially in plastic design type capabilities. So here I have the rib IPT from our working files directory. The first thing we want to take a look at here is the sketch that created the geometry that we're going to utilize in the rib command and take a look at what makes up a good sketch for the rib. So we're going to start by activating sketch 12. Now once it's activated, we can see that this is just a bunch of lines. They're not even closed profiles. These are just open line segments, which is really contradictory to what we normally draw in our sketch environment for Autodesk Inventor. Now, the other thing to point out here is there are also some points on here as well, near the end on the far right-hand side. There's no points here at these intersections, but I would actually like to add some. So I'll go to my point command on my create panel, and just place a few points here at these intersections of these lines. When you go back and hover over top of them, you should see those points show up as little plus signs. From here, we'll finish the 2D sketch. Now, to start the rib command, we do have it on our create panel. However, it may be in a flyout. So the last command you've used will show up on the top of your flyout button. You might have sweep there, you might have loft there, but it's the same flyout. And the very last option is rib, so I'm going to choose that one. Now, when you start the rib command, you actually have a choice of different types of geometry to create. You can do geometry that's normal to your sketch plane you're currently on, and that's actually what I want here, and that's going to create a rib shape. Or you can go parallel to the plane you're currently on, which will create a web shape. That's actually not what I want in this case. So, I'm going to leave the top option in the upper left here chosen, the normal to sketch plane and start picking my profiles. So I'll come in here and start picking on these different line segments. And you're actually gonna see a very nice profile already create itself and a nice preview of the geometry that is going to be associated as a rib. Let me do this again. I'm gonna cancel out of the command. I'm actually gonna turn off the visibility of this work plane so we can see inside a little better. I'll restart rib and go ahead and select my profiles again. Here we can see it a little bit better now. There we go. So I basically picked those five lines. The points that we had at those intersections actually show up these little bumps. These are little bosses. And we can work with those inside this command as well. For now, let's look at the few of the options I do have to look at. First of all, I have a directional change. Well, my direction came in just fine, so I don't want to flip it. If I did flip it, I'm going to lose my previews. So we'll keep the direction chosen here for direction two. Extended profiles. If this was toggled off, essentially what happens is it says the line that you drew is what we're going to take as the resulting rib geometry. If I want to extend the profile, this will extend it to the next eventual face. So you can see it definitely extending out further. Now maybe I want that for these two parts of the rib here and here, but not the one in the middle. In that particular case, then, I should uncheck that profile from being utilized in this command. So to go back and remove that, go up to Profile, hold down Shift, and deselect it. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll add that later as a different rib. Now for the thickness, I currently have it as one millimeter. Let's zoom in to examine what happens as I change this thickness. So right now it's one. Here I'll make it one and a half. And it does make it a little bit thicker. Currently, my rib geometry is creating it to both sides. I could flip this so the thickness is added to one side, left or right hand side of my rib profile. I also have the two next extents turned on, which means it's going to terminate as soon as it hits face. I could actually come in here and tell it a finite amount. And there you can see a very, very thin floating rib network. And here I can then specify how far I want those to go in. If I type in 10, they only go down 10. If I tell it to do two next, they go all the way down. Next up is the draft tab. So we've been working on shape. If I go up here to the draft tab, I can change the thickness to hold at the top or bottom, so at the top or at the root, and specify a draft angle. So I'm gonna put a one degree draft on here. 
and it actually makes it a little bit thicker at the bottom in this particular case. Now, anyone who knows plastic design knows that you might get a couple of sink marks or some uneven cooling of your material on the outside of this plastic piece if you have a lot of thickness at that root of your rib. So in this particular case, I'm going to hold the thickness at the root, and that's actually going to make it narrower at the top instead. Next up is the boss. So over here, I can specify what centers I want to have for the boss. Now, since I took that profile off there, I'd also like to remove these two boss profiles. So I'll just hold down shift and I come in here and deselect both of those points. The current offset, as you can see here, raised up from my rib network is one millimeter. I basically want that to be even with my rib, so I'm gonna make that a zero. I'm gonna add the same one degree draft in for these. And the diameter, I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger because I actually want to have some screw connections perhaps that go into this. Just for the time being, I'll make it four. Just so we can see something significant here. I'll choose OK. And there's the rib. Now that geometry is very difficult to create on its own. So this command is actually very beneficial to help us create these complex rib networks. Now if I want to reuse that last profile to create that piece in the middle there, I'll go back and share sketch 12. Start the rib command again. Choose this guy here. You can see it automatically picks up the last settings I had in this rib command. And in this case, I don't want the extended profile. I just want it to be, like you see there, my supporting network. The draft, still holding the same value here, but I'm gonna change it to one, hold it to root. The boss, same information. I'll say okay. And now I'll just turn off the visibility, sketch 12. And there's my completed rib. 